We're Team Intel Grids, and we initially were challenged by NAVVAC XWIC to solve the duck curve through a shared partnership with local utilities and domestic Navy and Marine Corps bases. NAVVAC, or Naval Facilities Engineering Command, is the command within the Department of the Navy responsible for overseeing on-land facilities engineering and management for 71 Navy and 24 Marine Corps bases worldwide. This includes everything from construction to maintenance and to ongoing support for these bases. In essence, getting things built and keeping the lights on. Within NAVFAC, XWIC is short for Expeditionary Warfare Center, a subcommand whose role focuses on providing specialized engineering and solutions related to expeditionary equipment specifically. NAVFAC XWIC charged us with helping them find a solution to risks caused by what is known as the duck curve phenomenon. But what is the duck curve anyways? The duck curve is the result of heavy solar power integration in the grid. On an average day, consumption, or load, on the grid varies by time of day. When solar power is added, it generates large quantities of energy during the middle of the day when the sun is shining, reducing net demand for energy and potentially overgenerating relative to load, resulting in wasted energy known as curtailment. When the sun sets, however, the system must compensate aggressively for both rising load and falling solar generation forcing traditional generation to ramp up substantially to compensate, resulting in technical challenges and increasing system costs. Given the need to constantly match load with demand, some assets like coal and nuclear plants need to be shut off or turned on at higher speeds than what they are designed for, thus threatening the reliability and stability of the grid. These twin problems of curtailment and aggressive ramping compose the duck curve, which gets its name from the effect of the load curve looking like the back of a duck, sort of. As a team, we set off to better understand this problem and the challenges it would represent for the Navy. While we, like many cutting-edge technologists around the world, started with a more technical approach, we ended up realizing we needed something first. Communication. Here is our journey.